it's Miss Savannah again from Los Alamitos Rossmore Library here for another fun virtual story time. Today we will be reading Strictly No Elephants. It's written by Lisa Manchev and illustrated by Taeyun Yu. And we're reading this today with permission from Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. So thank you. So as you can see, Strictly No Elephants. There's a big sign on the door that says that and we have a little boy and his pet elephant on the front cover. So maybe with this book, we're gonna read about how we can all be a little bit more inclusive. Now, what does it mean to be more inclusive? Well, it means to be more open and welcoming of everyone. So let's jump into the story and see how we can all be a little bit more inclusive. The trouble with having a tiny pet elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. And we can see here, looking into the windows near him, what other pets people have. Let's look at them. We have someone with a black bird. There's a black cat. Someone has a goldfish. And we see a couple of dogs in those windows too. But no elephants. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. So how is he being thoughtful in these pages? Well, the elephant is holding the umbrella above his boy so that his boy doesn't get wet while he holds the plants. It's very kind and thoughtful of him. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. And look, we can see a couple other pets that are being walked over. We see two different dogs and someone holding a cat. Come along, there's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. It'll be fine. But when I look up, there's a sign on the door. And looking at their faces, do we think it's a good sign or a bad sign? I think it might be a bad sign. Let's find out. Oh no, the sign reads strictly no elephants. And they even crossed out the tiny little elephant. That's not very kind or inclusive. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do, brave the scary things for you. And here's the little boy and his tiny pet elephant walking down the sidewalk in the rain. But what do we see sitting on a bench? Is a little girl with her pet on her lap. And they also look a little sad. But if we look a little closer, what else do we see on these pages? That's right, there's another little boy and his own pet in a window looking outside. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. And what do we see looking out of windows on the street? That's right. We see a little girl with her own pet penguin. And what's that further down? That's right. It's the head of a giraffe sticking out of a window. And look at all these friends that they made while trying to walk to a place for a club meeting. There's a little boy with an armadillo in the back, a girl with red glasses who has a pet giraffe that we just saw. There's a little boy who has a wagon with a narwhal in it. We also have another little girl with brushes in her backpack that has a bat flying around on a leash. We have the girl with a pet penguin we just saw. And there's that boy we saw a few pages ago with a pet hedgehog. And everyone looks really happy and excited, don't they? 
We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So what did they find? That's right, in a park, it looks like they came across a tree house and a tire swing. So we paint our own sign. They cross out the words that say, strictly no strangers, no spoil sports. And they add in instead, all are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. And what do we see happening? We see all the new friends with their pets playing around, having fun with each other. And there's also two new kids joining with their own pets. Because that's what friends do. And you can see here, everyone is so happy and friendly, enjoying all their pets in this new open space. Thanks again for joining me today for this really fun reading of Strictly No Elephants. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. We learned a lot of fun words and ideas today. We learned about being inclusive, which means being open and welcoming to everyone. And we also learned what it takes to be a good friend. Do you remember what we learned? That's right. We learned to always lift each other up, brave all the scary things together, make sure you don't leave anyone behind, and help whenever you can. And we also got to see a lot of fun pets that the kids had in the story. We saw a narwhal. We saw someone had a bat, which Miss Savannah would love to have as a pet, as well as a hedgehog. You all know how much I love hedgehogs. So once again, thanks for joining me. I hope you had all the fun watching this. Let us know in the comments of this video what dream pet you would love to have. Until next time, goodbye.